What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here with a little bit of a mail day. Now, it's a lot I purchased, as you can see right here. It was $13.99 total, free shipping. We're going to go right through it. I know what's inside of it, but I just wanted to show you guys, because I thought for the price, I mean, this was a really good lot. So, as you can see, they're all still wrapped. I just opened the package just to confirm. Here, I guess, is the invoice. Oh, and we got some top loader. Oh, there's something. All right, so again, $13.99, guys. I want something else here. Oh, cool. It's a slot machine? Looks like it. All right. That works. Pretty darn cool, actually. Uh, here's the invoice. All right, now let's get right into it. Start with this one. And again, I figured just to change it up a little bit some variety on this channel let's uh, do a little mail day now I'm expecting all the conditions of these cards to be absolutely destroyed so um, definitely that's what I think is is gonna happen but uh, you know for $14 shipped figured it couldn't go wrong with what I saw in there even if they're completely destroyed enough for a dog food dinner <laughs> uh, aqua dragon pretty cool McDonald's pack 2 that's pretty cool a uh, dark blade oh there's a slot machine is this this is a fake slot machine all right so that's actually really cool that's a fake card right here Wow and the back looks really legit let me yeah this is fake yeah all right so that that's actually really good that I got that on camera um, so as you can see, the attribute stars here are fake. Um, they're not like these. You can just see it's just a little bit off. The font is also a little bit off. Um, the first edition, the font, again, it's all just kind of just a little bit off. And as you can see, the attack and defense. Um, let's see if we could zoom in here. All of a sudden, this turned from a collection purchase into a fake card little tutorial. But as you can see, the biggest thing are the attribute stars. As you can see, there's just a little bit more star showing. The yellow here, just a little bit. Ew, yeah, my finger looks god-awful. Um, but yeah, that's about it. The back looks actually really good on this. So, pretty crazy that we actually got this on video. Hmm. And that's MRL. That's actually tough to find fakes of MRL. Wow, that's... I'm going to keep that to the side, actually. Uh, pretty... Pretty crazy. Rogue Doll, let's see if we get any more MRL fakes. There's a starter deck. Luster Dragon, Mechanical Chaser, Smashing Ground, good card. Gemini Elf, DNA Transplant. So again, this was $13.99. Here's a rare. Brow, Mad King of the Dark World, two of them. Princess Curran, wow, two of those. Doom Dozer, DD Crazy, or DD Crazy Beast, yes, Fear from the Dark. Cryphonian Blast, wow, there's a lot of rares in this here. This is quite good. A Treeborn Frog. All these are first edition, too. Most of them. Uh, let's see. Wow. I'm not going to go through every one. Meteor Dragon. McDonald's Pack 2. That's cool. Very cool. A Jama King. That's a good rare. This is another good one. Oh, Surrender. Rare Metal Mo Wow. I can't believe all these rares, actually, that came in here. Okay. Legendary Fisherman. I love that card. Hero Shadow Scout. Is there anything else in? Sometimes there's like two cards. No, it's just one. Jack's Knight. Two of those spells. Oh, Queen's Knight. Nice. Wow, I can't believe this, guys. This is way more than I bargained for. And you haven't even seen the good stuff yet. Alright, let's see. Level Limit, Area A. Hero Signal. Proto Cyber Dragon. Fake Trap. Dark Bishop Archfiend, Nitro Unit, and I apologize if the uh, flash went out. Let's see how good my editing skills are with this. The flash just literally cut out on me. Um, so VW Tiger Catapult, cool. Send you the Thousand Hands. That's a Spell Ruler SRL card. And let's see if we get anything else here. Prohibition, Infinite Cards. Grithonian Alliance, Contract with the Abyss, Bubble Shuffle, uh, Winged uh, Karibo level 10, nice. 
a Mitchell Gardner, King's Knight. A lot of good stuff here, uh, actually, very good stuff. Not complaining. So, in total, yeah, it's about 50, uh, 50 rares, give or take. So, not bad. And also, in between, of course, the flash dying. I did open up this this um, slot machine. So, yeah, for $13.99, slot machine. That'd be cool. You know what would be cool? If you could actually, like, pull down the lever. <laughs> and it actually would uh, give you some results. But put it up. And, of course, we still have the fake slot machine. So, counterfeit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, a lot more rares than commons here, surprisingly. So, that's good. Very good so far. We got a few more things we have not unboxed yet, but we do still have these. I'm going to save these for last, because obviously these must be the foils. So let's do... let's do this one next. And again, this was a buy it now price of 13... well actually it was a buy it now, I want to save like 20. And then I talked the guy down. I talked him down to 13.99 free shipping. So... Definitely cannot complain. Is this a foil? I don't know. Oh man, oh, it is a foil. Oh, sweet. All right, so there's more foils than I originally thought. Let's see what we got. You know, I just don't want to damage the card. So I'm just going to, instead of like unwrap it just in case, I'm just gonna cut the rubber bands. All right, so let's move this over. Let's see what we got. Slot machine, put them in the corner. Okay. All right. Isn't it ironic that the slot machine uh, toy was actually the one fake card? Pretty ironic stuff. All right. So let's see. Judgment of Anubis. Oh, nice. Ancient Gear um, Gadjith, Galjithron Dragon. That's a structure deck card. Here's the uh, Ocean Dragon Lord, Neo Daedalus. I don't, I don't, De Daldius? <laughs> I don't know, it's a dual links card, guys. I, I never really played with it. Uh, which card is this again? This is from the Starter Deck Yugi 2, or Structure Deck Yugi 2, uh, Volume 2. Oh, I can't remember, I'm blanking out on this one. Uh, UFO Roid Fighter from Cybernetic Revolution, of course, the Three Sphinxes, and there's more. Oh, Freed the Matchless General from uh, Legacy of Darkness Unlimited. Looks actually pretty good condition, too. Not bad, not bad. Mazera Deville. That's from the Special Edition, Lost Millennium. Another Sphinx. Here's a Relinquished. That's from Master Collection 1. Let's actually zoom in a little bit on these cards here. Beautiful. Here's a Block Man. A Dark Ruler of Hades or Hades from Master Collection 1. Elemental Energy Special Edition, Silent Swordsman Level 5. Another Relinquished Master Collection one, and yet another, so we got a playset of Relinquished. Another Silent Swordsman level 5, this is a pretty good opening. Whoa, yeah, this is really, really good so far. Let's take this out of the sleeve. Gaia, the Dragon Champion from LOB, and it's got so much hollow bleed here. This is crazy. Foil is just popping all over the card. That's awesome. Very cool. Thousand Eyes Restrict, Master Collection 1. Pretty awesome. Especially if it comes with, like, uh, Link Karibo kind of revives this card. It's possible. A Dark Magician from the Tin. Oh, it's a shame this one wasn't, uh... Darn. It's a shame this one wasn't, like, Mint. Because a Gem Mint, one of these, I would definitely want in PSA 10. A Secret Rare with this artwork. Pretty cool. Another King's Knight. Well, we've had quite a few of these. Tornado Bird, Red Moon Baby, Nimble Manga, Rapid Fire, Magician, Mataza the Zapper, Millennium Scorpions, Nimble Manga, so that's a, new, a cool one, that's with the three um, Sacred Beasts, Hero Metal, Light Force Sword, Gore Turtle, Giant Rat, a lot of, a lot of rares here, Chthonian Soldier, Grave Oha, hmm, don't remember that one, another Chthonian, Ancient Gear Beast, rare, cool, Big Tusk Mammoth, DDM, Third Dimension Master, um, and Venus and Elemental Mistress Doradio. Doradio? I think that's how you pronounce it. But nonetheless, this has given me quite, quite the haul here. And we got one more bubble wrapped section left. Let's see. See if there's anything going on here. Watch it be like a corrected art, Dark Paladin. <laughs> 
or an LOB first edition blue eyes white dragon just sitting in this $13.99 buy it now ow oh that one snapped my finger right there that's gonna leave a mark oh yeah yeah all right <laughs> sphinx another sphinx oh here's something this is a jump promo the wicked avatar don't really know much about this actually so if anyone knows about this hmm the artwork on this card is uh pretty terrible <laughs> hey i mean one person's trash is another person's treasure right uh reshift the dark being from uh, the lost millennium hmm i don't remember that much oh a unity i always love this card Always love this jump promo. Super nice. Love all the characters. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Ooh, Starter Deck Pegasus Relinquished. First Edition. Pretty cool. Thousand Knives from Premium Pack 4. Premium Pack 4. Here's a uh, Ruined Queen of Oblivion. Cool. Black Luster Soldier. That's a gem, man. That's right there. That's a PSA 10. That's a Beckett pristine black label right there. 10 on every subgrade. Infernal Flame Emperor. A Vampire Lord. Uh, that's the promo from Rise of Destiny. It actually looks pretty solid condition, too. Nice. Uh, black Magical Curtain, I want to say. Magic Cylinder from IOC, from the Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. That looks like Gem Mint, actually. At least on the front. Eh. Little mark here on the back. Not bad, though. Another Ruin. Dark Bolter the Terrible. Cool. There's a World Championship 07 ENO2 Exploder Dragon. I don't think... Huh, there's another one here. Interesting. I don't think... I think Blizzard Dragon was a different card, and that one was, like, super expensive. But that's a promo you don't see too often. It's probably worth, like, nothing, but i actually not sure the value of this. But pretty cool to get, actually. Destiny Hero Disc Commander, same WC07. A Griffin Wing. A Penumbral Soldier Lady. Cool artwork. Very cool, first edition. Here is a Star Deck UE Evolution, Dark Magician. A Blue Eye Shining. That always is a good one to get. Freed the Brave Warrior, another Freed the Brave Warrior. Mind Control from WC5. That's another video game promo. Very cool, actually. Yeah. That looks like a nice Halloween card. Huh. Pretty cool. Cyber Barrier Dragon, First Ed, SOI. Cyber Dark Edge, this should be going up because of Cyber Dark support, I think. Cyber Blader. Let me make sure there's not a... Whoa. Whoa. The mummies. Hopefully there's like a uh, End of Anubis and whatnot in this, de in this deck. Uh, I don't know. And a Vampire Lord would be cool. No, that's the only one in this. Uh, let's see. Triblaze Accelerator. Oh, Graceful Charity. Nice. Star Deck Pegasus. Mudora. Super Super Vehicroid Jumbo Drill. Always love this in Ultimate Rare. Power of the Duelist. Uh, Shadow of Infinity. Divine Dragon. Oh, a Dark Piercing Light from McDonald's Pack. Wow. Cool. I remember I pulled this back in the day. I remember, um... Millennium Shield was always the one I wanted because it had the Millennium Eye on it. Here's a GX promo, GX03 Masked Chopper. Wow, you don't see many of these. Let's see what it does. This card destroys an opponent monster by battle. Inflict 2,000 life points. Wow. <laughs> it's got 100 attack, but hey, you know, just boom. Just keep putting, uh, keep putting equip cards. And just beat down with that card. Cool. Uh, Black Luster Ritual. Here's another WC07. That's cool artwork, actually. I like this. Spell Striker. Hmm. Oh, another Brain Crusher from GX03. I, I'm thinking these are the DS games. I'm not 100% sure, though. Huh. I know the Blizzard Dragon is worth a ton of money. Over Destiny. That's from uh, Duels Pack 5. Here's a Kaiba Man promo from WC5. World Championship 5. Very cool. Very cool to see a super rare form. Karibo from um, MRD. EN. It's got the EN suffix. Greed. Big Burn. Oh, cool. Some more fake cards in here, too. Wow, so we're going to end it on... Oh. Oh. This is interesting. A Archlord Zerato. Or Archlord Zerato. With a nice big crease in it. Now, this is definitely... 
yeah, this is definitely, definitely a fake guard here. No questions about it. Um, but pretty cool. Wow. Huh. Add some more fake cards to the collection. It's super shiny. It's definitely super shiny. Um, I forget which insect is this. It's something insect. And this is actually a Chinese. You can actually see it's Chinese writing here. It's supposed to be an ultra rare. So this actually turned into quite an video, I mean, because you don't see fake cards like this often either. Um, and Horizonu, or Hirozaryu, I should say. This was a Magic Ruler card. First edition, everybody. Well, this one's in its own little sleeve. This one, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Ultra rare. Only one in the world right here. Nice counterfeit Horizonu. But I will say the slot machine was actually pretty. This might this might be legit though. Is it? From MA. I'm trying to see what set this is. MA. Whoa, this thing just pops. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up. Hinukagu Chushi? <laughs> this cool card? I'm not sure actually on this one. I think it might be legit, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Now nah, you know what? I think I'm wrong. This would actually be a pretty decent fake for a Japanese card. Yeah, I think that's actually a fake now that I think about it. Oh, we got some code in here. <laughs> this is your feature code. Interesting. Alright, so that was quite an interesting opening. I mean, it's foils galore, rares galore, and we are now going into the sleeved ones. So here we go. This is why I bought the lot. So we have an Ancient Gear Beast Ultimate Rare, the Lost Millennium. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one, too. Ryza the Storm Monarch. Any Monarchs in Ulti? Let's take a look at it. Let's see how banged up it is. Mm, wow. Wow, it's actually... It's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's really not... It's got the square, see? The little uh, indent here. But overall, not that bad. I thought it would be worse, to be honest with you. Very interesting. Put that back in. I kind of don't want to put it back in because it's going to scratch the... You could scratch the foiling here because there's no soft sleeve. Uh, King's Knight Ultimate. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, the flash is out. <laughs> there goes the flash. Well, at least we could still see some ulti. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh, let's see what else we got. A Dark Eradicator Warlock. Nothing behind it, right? Here's a Raviel from SOI, first edition. This is... Very interesting to me. A Slifer GBI Ultra. And it is legit. It's hard to see with this lighting, actually. Let me see if I can raise the lighting here. Let's see if that made any difference. Huh? Not too bad. So here's a Slifer. Let's see. Double sleeved. Should I save that one for last? And of course, a Dark Paladin. So I figured the Slifer and the Dark Paladin would be worth me okay yeah the dark paladin is destroyed <laughs> it's it's absolutely destroyed uh and as you can see yeah it's pretty bad in the back but i figured i mean 13.99 shipped for a dark paladin um and a few ultis and some sacred beasts and like a bunch of foils and some bunch of rares i didn't think it was that bad slife or the sky dragon well how's it oh nope that's not gonna do it let's see if we can catch it right there yep there's a nice stain uh, it went a crease down here, too. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but still, GBI. This is actually authentic, so I'm very surprised, considering there was a counterfeit slot machine, and there was an authentic Slifer the Sky Dragon in here, which is some of the most counterfeited cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, guys, until next time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.